number three. Yay! Yay. So what you're about to see is an entirely improvised musical. Have any of you uh, not seen musical improv before? I've never seen, seen, seen musical. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're in for a treat. Um, uh, we just want you to know that everything is improvised. The scenes, he's improvising on the keyboard, we're improvising on stage, <laughs> lyrics, everything's completely new. Uh, never to be seen, never seen before, never to be seen again. Um, to get us started, we need a location where you might find this number of people. Bus stop. Bus stop. Bus stop. Okay. Thank you. Bus stop. time to fret about all our problems. <laughs> I have to get settled in and do my little mind thing. You know, my little meditation exercise that yeah. helps me get better grades. Weird, weird class. You heard she's <laughs> taking beatings at her house, right? <laughs> you can meditate your way out of that situation. Well, why are you so agitated if you meditate all the time? <laughs> well, sometimes when I don't do well in tests, I... I don't get my allowance. <laughs> oh, boo-hoo. Yeah. <laughs> but understand that with my allowance, I, I, I do things I have to do. I, I buy myself the occasional new pair of shoes. I pay for my... Okay. I pay for my hair color, okay? I color my hair. <laughs> Me, Clarence, you. This is not the worst that it could get. Amen. You could be fucking out of school like Holly. <laughs> and taking a beating that bruises her. I just, it's been really hard for me to get around. Yes, it has. So, you know, I, I mean, I usually take the bus, but there's no bus that goes to Ikea, and I really need to get <laughs> Yeah? Uh, so of studying, you're going to go shopping, and I'm forced to do it for you, because I'm your older brother. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, you didn't have to do this, but you're doing it. I really appreciate it. I need to do something for me. Yeah? Anything. There's a test coming up next week. And I hear you know the teacher really well. <laughs> Be like pals with all of them, you know? Well, I need I... the answer key. <laughs> all right. I asked Clarence, but Clarence was flipping out on me, so you're going to test. Great. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I, I work at the school. Um, yeah. You know, and mm -hmm. I, I'm just worried that someone will find out. 
Don't. <laughs> <laughs> I think that you don't realize you have no choice. <laughs> Around the town, you have no voice. I'm only your only choice from here to there. I really need to go to IKEA, I guess. <laughs> but you're gonna get this test out of my hair. Or, well, it's not so bad at the bus stop. <laughs> <laughs> so, Alvin told me that they they call me Frumpy. I mean, you know, obviously. Jerry's name was Mr. Frumpleton, uh, Jerry Frumpleton, and I just I took his name. And, and well, he's your husband. I mean, it makes Frumpy sense. Frumpy is not a compliment. I, I I need to stand up to these children. I, it's also not that uncommon, though, here at Elwood Elementary. To be called Frumpy? All of us are. I, mean, I thought I... that was like the teacher packed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'd like I to mean, be called I mean, obviously. Pack. Well, you are. <laughs> Look, this is dressed up for me. I mean, I've, I've tried not, I'm trying to do the anti-Frumpy look. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, this is Frumpleton. I'm allergic to polyester. <laughs> It, it's also has a, a bit to do with your name. I hate to say. No, it, it has everything to do. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> no, it doesn't have everything to do with your name. Obviously, it's the name combined with the inability to dress yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but don't think of it as being something. I mean, the students like you the best. They know that they can bend the rules with you. They know they'll get at least a B without doing anything. <laughs> I believe in in. Student learning and in, in you know an experiential kinesthetic thing. I think it's just in time learning is so much better. <laughs> <laughs> it's really about in, enjoying the moment, honestly. I mean, because these kids they're not going to grow up and be driving Mercedes. They're not going to be growing up and and being CEOs. I mean, these are the kind of kids that are going to live really, really low, like the <laughs> 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 bus. <laughs> no. Forever. <laughs> it's not that bad, really, right? Tell me about it. You know, you know, there's that one weirdo, weirdo Clarence. <laughs> Look, 
I gotta make a C minus on this test. Well, I, I think it's important that you know grades represent the uh, the effort that people put in, and uh, and so if you're confident about your effort, I'm sure that you'll make a C minus on this test. Frumpy, you don't understand the magnitude of this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, magnitude. Points magnitude. off for Frumpy. Let's no, 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 no. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I, I didn't. I didn't mean it that way. But the, this is really. This is really important. We're, we're hoping that after the test, maybe you could teach us how to defend ourselves. <laughs> is there a problem that you're having? Why do you need to? What's uh, what's? It's my dad. <laughs> He beats me. When she gets bad grades. Yeah, only when I get bad grades. That's the only thing. Which you've been giving her an awful lot of lately. Look, the grades need to represent the effort, but this is actually a very serious accusation. Holly. Accusation? I'm just telling you what happened. It's a... Don't you believe me? I... I... You don't believe me! I have no reason not to bring... Holly, I'm gonna beat your oh, ass! Get away on this test! Wait, Dad, say it again. I got you on speakerphone. Get home safe, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> Holly, I'm gonna beat your ass! Get away on this But I, I do believe that there's something bothering you. I'm dropping out. Frumpy, listen. You're working on a beat. Oh, I'm not worried about. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about my sister. She's, getting, she's taking all these beatings at home, and you haven't taught me how to defend them. You say, when the time comes, we'll just, just in time learning thing. <laughs> Hello? You better not be telling Frumpy about the beatings I give your sister! Hang on just a second. Get home safe, kids. <laughs> May I suggest just being one with the exam? <laughs> oh, yeah, Clarence, it's true. It's weird, Clarence. You're not helping. <laughs> this is grumpy. Oh. Isn't it your duty to help us? I feel it's my duty to help you. I do, actually. It is your duty to help us. Uh, I thought it was my duty to help you with, you know, science. Uh, but it's my duty to, to make sure that you're... Nobody helps us. These teachers are so out of touch with our lives. They think science and chemistry are gonna help us with our lives. But it's not chemistry that we need.
Yo, Mrs. Thomas. I, I uh, remember you. Yeah, hey. Yes. Jocko. <laughs> yeah. I uh, remember that proposition I had about uh, doing some yard work on in exchange for that answer key. Maybe you remember my proposition along with it? Get back to school and stop looking at people? Uh-huh. <laughs> I can't do that. I got my brother down on it, but I don't trust him. He's not very good at these things. You know, Elvin, he's sweet, but he's, you know, he's not a jerk like me. Like us. And to be honest, it's not for me. I, I don't care about my grades. It's this is girl, Holly. I really like her. And if she gets better grades, she's going to stop bruising up, and I can get her that tattoo. <laughs> It's a Celtic knot, but she's not Irish, so I, okay. <laughs> what was it the tattoo part? Yeah, what? That's not okay. I said a lot of things, so I'm not really sure what you're not okay with. Gosh, I mean pretty much all of it. <laughs> I feel like I can do something here. I'm a teacher after all. Yeah, you're a teacher. You have access to the answer keys, and I will mow your lawn and trim. <laughs> That topi, what do you call it? Topiary? You like making the figures out of the. Yeah, it's, you know, the one. Is yeah, the oh, one it's beautiful. You do. That's besides the point. You're. You come from the wealthiest family in the poorest town in the USA. <laughs> you should see the size of our yard. It's like three trailers wide. <laughs> Some would think that that gave you a bit of class. I'm helping someone else. I In a make... roundabout way, I suppose you are. Yeah. I talked to her dad, and he didn't want to listen to it. Is there something that I could do to help him listen to me, so that you didn't have to tattoo his bruised daughter? <laughs> Perhaps. I think that tattoos don't cover the problems. <laughs> They highlight things that we love. Yin and yang. <laughs> I wanna clear up the life so that I can treat her like the widest of loves. <laughs> because I don't like my family. <laughs> I don't like my family. <laughs> so I want to start another one. <laughs> Holly's really young and approachable. Almost a same age. And you should know that she is really pretty, too. <laughs> she is. Test that you're giving next week. You just 
came out and asked for it, didn't you? <laughs> uh, no, it was the principal's office. I worked for the principal's office, and um, they said they needed to see a copy of it just to make sure that you were teaching the material that they've asked you to teach. Oh, interesting. I've never been scrutinized like that by the principal's office before. Ever? Um, um, but it's okay, sure. Why don't I give <laughs> drive me to Ikea unless I get the answer. <laughs> wow. I mean, that's I, really... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, God, you're not going to tell the principal, are you? I kind of feel like I have to. I mean, it's it's pretty Jocko. dishonorable. I mean, I mean I, we're 17 now, and we do things because our brother makes us? Oh, well, yeah, I mean, have you met him? <laughs> yes, I met him for four years in the same class. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much had me trapped in his car. Yeah? Yeah, and uh, I don't know what he would have done if I'd said no. Well, who could know? This is a really terrible town that we live in. <laughs> there are so many issues here that I just didn't even know existed. <laughs> I hate my family. Oh my god, I don't think anyone likes their family. I hate my family. I was born here. It's it's a pretty awful predicament. I mean, you know, there's really no way. Uh, there's there's no way to, to beat it. Nobody's ever gotten out. I'm getting out of family hate, Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get on a bus to New York. Yeah. I'm getting. my family with you here. <laughs> Jocko, Holly! I couldn't help but listen. I've been following you all week, waiting to see if you actually would beat up Holly's dad. Yeah, I did it. And so I brought some rings on a pillow. Uh, <laughs> you guys are old enough to marry each other, and I went ahead and got my my, my license to marry. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you like him? Yes. Do you like him? If you do, say, I do. <laughs> Go ahead and put that on her. Oh my god. <laughs> now you don't have to worry about your dad. And do you love Holly here? I do. <laughs> <laughs> I can't 
can't really think too clearly right now. And my ring bear pillow will serve as a cushion for when you do ride the bus all the way to New York and get the heck out of Family Hate, Missouri. Here comes the bus now. Good thing we're next door to the station. Actually, I'd like to say something about that. This has been such an inspirational and wonderful. Yes, don't say it. I'd like to propose that we change the name of the town. I think that's been a problem this whole time. Yeah. <laughs> I think we call ourselves Family Love, Missouri. Yeah. We could really start to solve a bunch of our problems. We Population doubled in no time. <laughs> we don't have to go, do we? 